Three years ago, Craig Lundberg's world went dark. A victim of a rocket-propelled grenade attack in Iraq, the Lance Corporal in the British Army was able to escape with his life but lost his sight. That was three years ago, and this is today. Make no mistake, Lundberg still can't use his eyes. Rather, he is seeing with his tongue. Doctors and scientists have created this device which Lundberg puts in his mouth. The small pad then converts images from a video camera positioned on his glasses into signals which stimulate electrodes on the pad. Those signals are sent to the brain's visual processing center, which is then able to reinterpret the images, giving him a rudimentary idea of the shapes of objects in front of him. I get like the object of someone drawing on my hand, and I can go, oh, okay, so you can describe to me what a table looks like, and go, well, a table's like a rectangle, and draw a rectangle on my hand, and I go, oh, okay, this is all this is, but it's a lot more pixelated, and it's on my tongue. Objects in front of him. In fact, he's now walking on his own with the device. However, doctors admit that what he sees is hardly crystal clear. They're hoping they can give him and others a better view of the world by Does increasing the, the number of sensors of in the device say, from 400 to 10,000. I think this is, provides huge hope because there's really been no advance for mobility of the vision impaired since we've invented white canes and guide dogs. So they've always been forced to be very dependent on others to get around. They're hoping they can give him and others a better view of the world by Does increasing the, the number of sensors of in the device say, from 400 to 10,000. They say that may be enough to let him one day see his own guide dog, Hugo. Square. That's absolutely right. So. Cat. So, yeah. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a dog though.